I feel like it's important because we have to shape young minds into becoming big leaders so that they can one day come back and help Belize to become a better country. And you know, and like I said before in the forum, you have to stay to the process and you have to let things flow because you can't make mistakes. How do you believe, you know, uh, maybe some of your words will be able to impact them today and, you know, talking about, you know, being so young but already having an idea of what you want to do in life? Because I feel like once you have an idea of, what the, of how to, you know, let the process flow, that you have a better idea of what you want to be when you grow up. Something that, would be, that Belize needs, you know, more scientists, more doctors, so that Belize can become bigger. Nowadays, I feel that it's very kind of looked down upon in like the adolescent range to be a leader because I'm not too sure why but it's been very kind of stigmatized in a way over the generations because at my grandmother's time you know it's always you had your challenges obviously but back then I don't think it was as stigmatized but now it's they find it embarrassing which is something that I think the youth ambassadors is constantly trying to essentially break down that barrier because we need leaders we need for our country for essentially the world that's how the run we should run the world that's how it revolves because everyone matures and i think it's really important that you know they see that youths are actively participating in things like these they want to make a change so they get expired because you never know you could think it's something so small but they it could expire a ton of people or it could inspire one person but nevertheless the fact that you are simply inspiring is enough because that is what it causes a butterfly effect and that's what we want.